Hi everyone, welcome to Debray. Debrail, start the montage! Just down here, the most remote village in Mauritius. No villages for about five kilometers in any direction. And the furthest from the sea, a village that is furthest from any point of the sea in Mauritius. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's got to be interesting. Got to be interesting. Let's go check it out. One cool tea factory in Debray. You won't believe it. I'm at Kwan Fu Tea. And unfortunately they're closed today, but we're going to get a special tour, so look out for that snippet. We are definitely going to do a snippet on Kwan Fu Tea, because it's, it, she was just explaining to us. It's amazing, but I just thought I'd show you the logo. <laughs> but Kwan Fu Tea, look out for it. It's coming soon. We'll do a whole video on that. They're the only tea producers in Mauritius using a Chinese technique. That's it. They're the only, well, you guys will hear all about this when we actually do the proper video. They dry tea in these. Wow, when it's sunny. Not like today. <laughs> Not like today. That's where the tea place is. But right here is the football field. They actually have a full-size football field and, and a small one with AstroTurf. Wow, that is so green. That is so, so green. So they have a proper, I'm going to call it indoor, but you know, it's outdoor, indoor. Action football, action soccer, action, action cricket. Action football. Yeah. Have a look. <laughs> I can see it from the kids' lake park. Part of Dubrai village and now that the tea factories come back, the village is obviously perking up a bit more because traditionally it's it's tea planting after they stopped doing the sugar cane. Wow, have a look at this. These things, they actually use them to make brooms. Actual brooms out of this stuff. I wonder where it comes from. As you can see, it's like really, it's really beautiful in the sun. <laughs> Thank you. Traditional broom making. The people in Dubrai, during the months when you can't be harvesting tea, do other things like this, like make brooms. Well, the school is there, the community hall is there, but just down this road where we saw the brooms, there's this green hut. We're going to go get a roti. Well, I hope we're getting a roti. <laughs> Classic roti fillings, plus I think this is shoo shoo that gets added. Everyone's got a little bit of something unique chicken and I think livers. Have a look at this, you can actually get halim for 40. Everyone seems to be eating the halim. We seem to have arrived at a busy lunchtime moment. Everybody's eating here. There we go, this is the chicken roti. Yeah, Roti pool. Roti pool. And uh, no pima for me. No. No. Chili. Not on the chicken. So this is the veg this one. Avec pima for Brian. Oh. I think it's shushu. Very Maybe. good. Right. So we managed to get some rati. It's like here. ten rupees for the veg and how much? Uh, 14. 14 for the chicken, something the like chicken, that. Yeah, something like that. Cool. Anyway, we got changed. No, it didn't quite make 25. So yeah. it made 26. So 26, 10, and 16. There we go. Awesome. There we go. Proper, proper village one from here. Oh, my mouth is watering. Mmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. How's the inland? Furthest from the sea, Rutty, that you've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of interesting with that stuff. I'm not the sure shishu. Oh, maybe it's not shishu. It, it is fresh. Okay. It's yum. It is very yum. But inland, furthest from the sea, roti ever. Awesome. Didn't show me this time. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yummy. <laughs> oh man, chicken roti. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Oh, good. Are you getting a chicken roti on? Mm. Good. Mm -hmm. What's great about these little places, they don't always speak English, and uh, I'm never quite sure, but there's always someone who they will find, and they'll bring him down, and 
then you'll be able to speak to everyone. And that's, that's what happens in these small places, mm -hmm. as well as the dog escapes. <laughs> this is the centre polyvalent. I, there are loads of this, this type of building. I don't, I don't know what the polyvalent is, I really don't. But they have tons of community buildings. And I mean, it is a town of 2,500 people, but it just seems like they have more of these community centers than anyone else. We're on a bit of a back alley here. Uh, I thought I'd just show you this family restaurant. We're actually planning to come and eat here. Wow, there's so much traffic in Debre. Debre, how do I say it? Debre, Debre. Dubre. 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 There's so much traffic in Dubre. Anyway, this is the restaurant. But it's closed. It looks pretty cool. Huh? They have air conditioning inside. Okay. I assume that, that, oh, that it's means. Oh, the garden because it's farm to table, sort of. Yeah, cool. I think under normal circumstances, it would be a little bit of farm to table. They'll get their chilies from here. That's pretty cool. Anyway, up ahead is the best place in Dubre. Dubrel, Dubrel, the police station. <laughs> oh, no, it is the old. Wow. There's plenty of bus stations. Plenty of plenty. Well, I wait for him to go. He's a ranger, by the way. Or maybe that's his car. This, this is just one road in and one road out. So you've got all these buses, and they go out to Kierpeep and down to uh, Midlands. That's why they need so much space here because it's the end of the line. And everyone just wants to leave. <laughs> or come back home. Or come back home. Sidewalks in Dubreu. Check. <laughs> and then we have the Dubreu Community Centre. Like Brian said, there are lots of them. Yes, loads of them. Well, there's even a young boy's YC. I don't know what a YC is. Youth Centre. Youth Centre. But have a look at this gazebo. Kiosk. 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 How festively green is that? And how festively pink is the tiles? <laughs> and how festively brown are the seats? Wow, this is actually the community center, which is right here behind me, but... And another kiddies playground. You can actually come and sit here. It's not very comfortable. But it's, it's a place to come and sit, and they probably need to cut the grass a little bit, and it will feel right at home again. Right at home. And right there in the background, middle of the world mountain, Oh, Mauritius, yes. Mauritius. How awesome is this gate? It's actually made out of steel. Wow. The sun's coming out nicely, which is going to make it great. The Braille Boys Club. We can go in. It's got a park. I don't think it's open, but they've won trophies. They have won trophies. It's Young Boys Youth Centre. You're a bit old. Look at that. They've actually won some trophies. Well done, guys. Well done, De Bra oh, Actually, quite a lot of trophies in there. Over here is the store, where you can probably buy everything that you need, including your fresh vegetables. I'm sure they probably have a market a bit earlier as well. Ubre Government School. Together we can and we achieve more. We're not can, we achieve more. We learn, we love, we grow. Awesome. This is a slightly better view of the community centre, because the sun's all brightly shining on it. Wish we were on the other side of that mountain now. That thing was gnarly. Anyway, cut that out. Because there's another community centre up there. This place is full of them. So many community centres. And football pitches. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. This is either badminton court or volleyball court. They're really into their sports here. And they have almost every single field that you can imagine. And community centre. They've had more community centres than I've ever seen. I think you mentioned that. I might have mentioned that, but that's the health centre there, and probably something next to it, that's some sort of centre. This is the, yeah I'm not even going to say, I can't even say the first word and it's the name of the town. <laughs> du Brave, Du Brave, Du Brave, Du Brave, Marathi Shri Ganesh Mandia. Cool location. Du Brave's Bravado Group. Actually, a thing since 1992. They're unfortunately closed today. We did make an appointment, but they didn't bother <laughs> to come at the appointed time. No, I'm just kidding. Of course, we didn't know they existed, but now we do. 
This is probably another community center. Village council, this is the council center. So there we go, the council center. And there's a green building that's probably something as well. So just behind the community center, there's a Petanka court and there's actually public toilets. So. <laughs> and awesome. Okay, well, guess what? The green building isn't a community center of some sort. It's an agric shop. And of course, you do need these because of the tea. So these probably sell you all the stuff you need for your tea. Yeah. So I think it was like about in the 50s that they started disbanding sugar places. So they divided up into like acre plots. Really? To encourage people to plant tea. Okay, so everyone got a small little piece of tea to plant. It's a chemical store. MCFI. Those guys. <laughs> and IBL. And there's a small church. Obviously only open on Sundays. I really wanted to show you the snack place across the road. But something big got in the way. <laughs> Look at the size of this! Oh man! I won't touch it too much because this is actually part of the wastewater reclamation plan that they're actually putting in here so that they can figure out all the wastewater here in Debray. 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 All this in Debray. <laughs> wow. Did you get the church? Yeah, a little bit. Cool. There's a church, in case Ricky didn't show you. I'm zooming in on Ricky's feet, not to actually show you her beautiful toenails, <laughs> but to show you that it actually says cat on the side there. Mm -hmm. Guess what else says cat? This big machine. Wouldn't you rather have those on your feet? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. This is actually Preet Snack. I can't put it on video, so it's Preet Snack, she said. But look at this place, it's beautiful. You've got tables and everything. It promises. Roti chud, that means hot, hot roti. Shoe. 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 Roti shoe. That means hot roti. And you can eat it in there. And it's right here. Very easy to find this place, and I'll show you why. It's opposite the cat. Look what's coming. Look what's coming. It's, look what's going. It was a bus. <laughs> but the bus stop is there. And there goes the bus. Oh, sad day. Maybe he can drop station. some people off directly at their house because, you know, well, it's small town. Maybe it's like the local bus. It's not yeah, one that yeah. goes far. It must be a local bus. That's what it is. <laughs> okay, no, he was just coming around the block so that it's easier for him to drive in to the bus station. So it's still only one bus station, but lots of it. We must be in the shopping district. <laughs> We've got the hardware store and a couple of other shops there, which I'll show you in a minute. But also into the sun that way are a couple of more shops. Now, what's really strange about this, and I know it's going to sound weird having a look at this town around me. These are all marked on Google Earth. <laughs> Every single one is marked with its phone number here in the actual place that it is, actually where it is. This is right on its spot. It's not uh, halfway around the world or something. Yeah. <laughs> so, you're probably never going to come and visit this place, but you'll probably drive through here on your way to Midlands Dam or something. Yes. If you need a hardware store you can get one. And if you need a snack, you can get plenty. But even what, what, what I wanted to say was like, these guys have nailed it. So this is a store that does vegetables in here. And you also got eggs and, well, you can buy some frozen things. So that's there. It's like more of a classic shop with sweets and treats. And then over here, you can get your, your, your fried things. Find causing a commotion in what was a quiet town. This is a chana puri and it's two rupees and I've just got the cabbage one but here we go it's a little bit hard to see down there that's the potato chili chili oh look mm -hmm. at that <laughs> but one of each of the two rupees please gato pima gato pima mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. natasha can i put you on camera <laughs> this is natasha everyone and she's got these things for two rupees well we'll tell you how good they are in a minute she's put some <laughs> nice chili on for me but natasha thank you so much Thank you. <laughs> Have a look at all these treats. And I mean, it was like 15 rupees. Two rupees. It's two rupees, everyone. Awesome. Bag of treats. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Grab one. I want this one. <laughs> I don't think it's chanapuri. I think it's potato. It's potato. Mmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wow, that's quite nice potato, isn't it? <laughs> we 
Yummy. It's okay. He was after your food. Yeah. <laughs> How's the chili sauce? No, it isn't chili. Oh, okay, cool. It's like it's the, the other chutney stuff. Awesome. Try, try some. Mm -hmm. This is a Turipi Chana Puri. Chana Puri. Bread and stuffed with. Mmm. Stuffed mm. with some, wow, awesomeness. It's actually bread. Mm hmm. Mm. You gotta try this, Rick. Mmm, that potato one was gorgeous. Seriously, if you do happen to find yourself anywhere in this region, go visit Natasha. Those things are really yum and only two rupees each, but it's not the price, it's the flavor. And they have a great flavor. This is actually a temple. I didn't check the name on it. Well, I didn't actually see a name. But it's got a really big cow. Wow, how do you forget the name of a cow? And then across there, you've got other things in black. I, I, I can't go any further than that because you've got the shoes on. And it looks a little wet there, and I'm a bit wussy about that, as you well know. <laughs> but it is all in black. I'm going to go around the corner a little bit. No, I'm not. There's nothing here. Oh, well. Ricky walking up to the rose bush. Oh, wait. Yeah, there we go. We got it. And the roses. And the roses keep moving. But I think, I think we did okay. Did we focus on her or the rose? These roses, it's such a beautiful, simple rose. But the smell, the fragrance is beautiful it's been such a long time since i smelled roses weirdly well you can probably just make that out that's here at the temple how's the peacock wow it's right at the temple complex really easy to find right there great peacock yeah pretty large temple though in debrail how's this cool festive bush Cool, they look like little oranges, but I'm sure they're not edible because they've got a blue flower. Wait, let me show you. <laughs> yeah, so they start off as blue flowers and then up uh, as little oranges. And you can see scale by Brian holding them together. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Ganesh. So on the other side is Ganesh. This is another temple, but it's incomplete. It hasn't been finished. And it's actually right next door to Russia's Telecom. So we've got really good cell signal here. Really good. This looks like the plant that they harvest for the brooms. Obviously there's a specific type that you're looking for. I have no idea what this place is. Absolutely no idea. We'll have a look at that in a second. Here's a burnt out one. I don't know, but, but, have a look at the steel here. Does that not look a little railway? I think this is railway steel. But what's it doing out here in the middle of nowhere? I, they did have a small gauge, but this is full size. This is full size track. Maybe they had a small gauge on full size track. If you're frugal like me, you just come here and pick yourself a broom. <laughs> this is where they make the brooms from. That I showed you earlier, or maybe that I showed you now. But this is it. Just come pick yourself a broom. Awesome, awesome. It's an ashram with the hospital. Yeah. Awesome. This is an actual ashram. And there's a sign here that Ricky will get on B-roll that I'll put up now, that there's a hospital. And the guy is actually stuck in India at the moment, unfortunately. But it's his ashram and he was the priest, but he also runs this. Wow. So unfortunately he is stuck in India. Okay, so obviously they will do some garden maintenance at some point, but more beautiful roses. Benches where you can sit peacefully. The ashram behind me, and there's apparently a path down here. It'll take you to the river. At least it isn't stairs, which is awesome. <laughs> Moss covered floor. <laughs> and somebody's been here before. This is a pretty cool tree, and I know the name of it. I actually really do because someone carefully left this here. Oh, so cool. it's a uh, in Sanskrit, a uh, karamiya. It's a karamiya tree, a real karamiya. <laughs> oh, there we go, karamiya tree. It is really beautiful. I'm going to show you a little bit better. Well, Ricky, my. Wow, what a great tree. Beautiful. That's what Ricky normally says, I'm sure. <laughs> there you go. You can see the Latin name. 
beautiful markings on the tree. Gorgeous. Gotta love your trees. So here's a river or a small dam for people to come and perform after death prayers for their dear ones to get peace and liberation and be free from the cycle of birth and death. So here's the pond. It actually has fish in it. Uh, but I've just spotted a bridge. So we'll probably look at the fish now. Oh, look, they're all coming out. They, they recognize me as a person. Let's check out the fish as they all swim away from me. <laughs> that was on to you. You don't have any food. So it's actually like a small temple down here by the water. Well, pretty place. It is a very tranquil area here. And I think this pond was made on purpose for that. But it is still a river that comes down here. I can hear it up ahead there. Oh, and there are actually things in the water. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. It's Ganesh. Unfortunately, my first real bridge in Dubruv turned out to be concrete. From a distance, it looked like that was stone, but it is just a concrete bridge. So I wonder where the narrow gauge went and where its bridges were. Walking away from the pond, which we can't see down the pathway for the montage. <laughs> now, you know, it's cold when even the dog can't be bothered to get up and is just lying in the sun. Hey, buddy, you're OK there? Leave me alone. It's cold. <laughs> yeah. OK, you find really weird things in small villages, but this one is awesomely weird. There's a horse next to Tammy. That is not something you see every day. Can I touch? Come, let's have a look. What a beautiful boy girl. Oh wow, such a soft nose. Can I smell? Wow, I smell funny. Obviously my hand smells funny because the cow didn't like it either. <laughs> Thank you so much. How's that? Awesome. Weird, in small towns. There's a guy riding a horse down the road. We're going to have to see if that comes out on video because it, <laughs> that, that just seems real. like one of those, no, you didn't actually see a horse in the middle of Dubray. Well, yeah, I think we did. <laughs> this all around me, yeah, is actual tea. I know it doesn't look like what you see in the, in the tea, tea adverts on TV. And the reason for that is they had to cut them back because during... The, the pandemic, they weren't allowed to come out here and actually pick the tea. So it got crazy overgrown and it had to actually be chopped up and left like this, unfortunately. But it will regrow. It will regrow and tea will come back. So that is good news. The tea is coming back. It just doesn't look like a TV commercial at the moment. So they come out early in the morning and they pick the tops and they sell it at 20 rupees a kg, which is actually pretty good. And then it's processed, and we'll show you that in another video. Yeah. It's kind of cool, because the government's just announced that they're going to give them a grant. Well, for those looking for the TV commercial, there it is. Perfect bud. And that's the top two leaves. When you're picking tea, you just pick the top. The tea is actually coming back. So, fantastic news. This is a good field. Fantastic. It is appropriate we do our outro for Debray with tea behind us because it's what made Dubray and it's what will will build it in the future. Well anyway, great snacks, interesting place to visit and there was a horse. <laughs> so come and visit, might, you, you might just get to see a horse. Everyone thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.